Hello, this is Pastor Bob Vale, the senior pastor at the LaPorte First United Methodist Church. It's so good to talk to you again. I want you to know that I've been praying for you at home as you're in quarantine and we're not able to go anywhere. The Bible says in Hebrews chapter 10, 25, it says, let us not give up meeting together as some are in the habit of doing, but let us encourage one another and all the more as you see the day approaching. So today, I want to encourage you to know that I'm praying for you, but not only myself, but the rest of the staff here at the church, our youth minister, Jeffrey Starkey, and our children's ministry minister, Megan Nearn. And so what we have done is we've come up with a creative idea that even though that you're at home on Sunday morning and during the week, we have put you in the sanctuary. So if you'll look this way, you'll notice that we've created an 8 by 10 color photo of each of you that are in the um, pictorial directory, and we've taped it all the way across the pews. Now, I was in here this morning, and I was walking by, and I was praying for each of you as you are at home, and so I'm going to continue to do that, but also know that on Sunday morning, as we are having the services, you are still here in spirit, and so I want you to know that... Um, if you are not in the pictorial directory, please email me your picture and we'll blow it up and put it on the pew. And my email is bobvale1961 at gmail.com. And so email that to me and we'll put that up there. But I wanted, want you to see what I do in the mornings. And say, so follow me. And so I just go through each one. Tony and Linda Adishek. Now I know Tony just want to be with the Lord. And so please pray for Linda as she has lost her dear husband. So I'm praying for her. Alex and his young boy, Alex Jr., Elise, pray for them. I pray for Jack and Bev Barnes. Jack, I mean, Bev was not feeling well, but I think she's getting better here. So I've been praying for her. Harold and Cindy Bass, um, pray for them in the morning. Donald and Angie Bogger. Matt and Debbie Boffman, I pray for them and their family. Robert and Jill Boffman. Julie Becknell, she's still in Florida. We miss her dearly. Hope, look forward to her coming home. Mr. Bob Bell is our staff, Parish Relations Chair. We pray for him. Uh, Steve and Mandy Benson, they play for the uh, handbell choir, so I pray for them. And then we're going to go around this way. And Ken and Joan Berner, pray for them. And then Reed and Mary Bieberstein. I pray for them. Uh, Bob and Lynn Blind, Blind. Bob is our co-chair of the missions committee. Pray for him. Ed and Karen Bowers. Uh, they're snowbirds, so they're not here with us yet, but I pray for them. Uh, Joy Box, I want you to especially pray for Joy. She works at the hospital as one of the nurses, so please keep her in your prayers during the coronavirus. And then I go along here, and I pray for Dr. Wynn and Debbie Bremer. And she works so well with our children and youth. And, and Doc is part of the trustees and also the um, sings in the choir. Pray for them. Also, Matt and Ashley Brown. Uh, he is, uh, works with the trustees and she works with the children. The two wonderful children. Pray for them. Uh, Donald and Sherry. Um, pray for them. I think they're snowbirds too. Uh, Sandy Burkhart. Pray for her. And also Terry, she's our worship uh, chairperson of the committee, does a wonderful job. We pray also for Jean Caddy, and so she's on the list. And then we go to the next aisle, and I want you to know that all of these are alphabetized. So Robert Caldwell and his granddaughter Justin Ben, we pray for, for them. He is an usher, and pray for Pastor Joellen as she pastors um, another church, I think Rolling Prairie, and then her husband Lester. And we pray for Marion Chambers. Um, she's kind of a, a shut-in, and so we love her and care for her. And then Larry and Chris Cook. Uh, Larry is on the praise team, plays guitar, and Chris does so many artful things with our bulletin boards around here, so keep them in your prayers. And then uh, Tim and Sharon Daniels. Um, as you know, Sharon used to be our bookkeeper, and Tim is one of the funniest men I think I've ever met. He used to be a barber and just enjoying retirement. Uh, Ron and Linda Daskowitz, uh, please keep them in your prayers. Uh, George and Gay Davis, uh, she's that sweetie from the south. 
Miss Gay, so pray for her. Miss Nancy Day, we pray for her. She's, I think, in Florida too, and look forward to her coming home. And then we have here Paul and Patricia Day. They are both ushers in the third service, so we keep them in our prayers and their health. And then Matt and Kaylin Deckard and their two beautiful children, Kendall and Mason, keep them in your prayers. Miss Eleanor DeMarco, she's down in Indianapolis right now, but we keep her in our prayers as well. Miss D. DeVincent just had um, surgery, for, I think, for her hip replacement, so she's getting better, so please keep her in your prayers. Um, Miss Crystal Adamke, she uh, worked so hard with our funeral dinner uh, ministry and also the ministry of having refreshments of the hostess committee um, after church. So, And then Brian and Terry uh, Dragos. Um, Terry is on the praise team. Brian's one of the best guitarists I think I've ever heard. He's just a really neat guy. And um, also Lucky, uh, Larry and Becky Dunbar. Um, he is um, the drummer for the praise team, and she takes care of the refreshments for the second service. So just a beautiful family. Pray for them. And here's Rosemary Dewar. And so we praise for Rosemary. As you know, she's our choir director and musician here. So please pray for her. And then um, next we have Mary. Um, Eggert, our husband Wilbur, has gone to be with the Lord, and so pray for her. Uh, Susan Eggleston, um, pray for her as well. Um, she's in a retirement community. We miss her a little bit. Pray for Benjamin Eldridge, particularly since he lost his father um, a couple weeks ago, and also Kathy, who lost her husband Bob, and so keep her in your prayers. Uh, Don and Francis Eastep, uh, I think they're snowbirds too, so we look forward to them coming home uh, too, so I pray for them as I pass by them. Um, Miss Lois Eversman, what a beautiful spirit and a uh, fun lady um, who loves the Lord and loves people more than about anyone I've ever met. Miss P Pam Fleming is um, another sweet lady that's at a retirement community. Um, Gail Botch, we pray for her. And this is Shaw and, and Greta Friedman and their children, Margo and Alex, so please keep them in your prayers. And then also Harry and Carol uh, Gardner. Uh, pray for them. Uh, they're in Elkhart at a retirement community over there. Uh, Tina Geyer is our UMW president and just does so much around here for the life of the church. And what, a, what a wonderful servant. And, and then we have um, here Mike and Joyce Gillock. Um, he plays piano at a, at a couple different churches, but also for us from time to time. Just a wonderful, sweet man of God. And, and Joyce um, runs a Bible study on Wednesday mornings uh, for some ladies. And then Gordon and Rosalie Glanders, there are eight, eight o'clock folks, just a sweet couple. Um, Miss Grace, she's about as sweet as they come. I love her dearly. She always has a hug and a smile. Uh, Miss Patty uh, Graff, we pray for her as well. Um, and Andrew and uh, Lee Bennett Grimm and Emmett and Grayson, we pray for them. Uh, Roy and Ann uh, Groff, uh, Roy has recently become a shut-in, and so um, Ann's been coming, but uh, keep him in your prayers. There are a lot of health issues that he has. Um, Pray for uh, Betty Habdas, uh, Linda Hagenow, Terry Hajek, uh, Billy and Tori of uh, Half Acre, and Penny and Miles. Uh, what a wonderful young family. Uh, Pat Harder, uh, we pray for her. And then uh, Sue Hickman, we pray for her as well. And uh, Tom and Julie Hillbush and Kate Hillbush. And Julie has had a lot of back pain that we've been praying for. And so please pray for her healing as well. Um, and we have Jonah Horvath. She's in Florida, but she just called yesterday. Her husband had just passed away, John. Just a wonderful lady, and so we pray for her. Uh, Matt and Pam Huff, they both are extremely talented musicians. He plays bass, she plays piano, and sing in the praise team, and she also has a jewelry business. So just, just neat. And then I don't know how my, my sister and her husband got in there, but Paul and Julie Hahn are here to support us too from South Carolina and Charleston. Frank and Sharon um, Humphrey. Um, they're ushers in our in our service. Uh, Jeff and Terry uh, Hunt, and then their son Kevin. And Terry is one of the handbell uh, members. And then Ray and Joanne Irons. Uh, please keep them in your prayers. And then Jim and Linda Jackson. Please keep them in your prayers. And then Ryan and Emily, and Jackson and Griffin. And they're uh, I'm sorry, Ryan and Emily Jackson. And they have three children, Griffin and Grant, and new beautiful little baby, Cecilia. And then uh, Larry and Anetra Jones, and I want you to pray specifically 
for Netra. She is the head nurse at the hospital, so I know she has a lot on her plate and is probably working, you know, 12, 16-hour days. So please keep her in your prayers. Uh, Jerry and Kay, uh, Cablin, they're snowbirds. I think they're in Florida. Please keep them in your prayers. Uh, Tom and Patricia Kessler, Miss Pat sings in the choir. Tom works so hard and is still dedicated with the treasure sale ministry. Um, Miss Barb Kelly, um, it's good to have her back with us, one of the sweetest ladies I know. Um, Miss Esther Kendall, we pray for her, and uh, she cares uh, so much for Mary Eggert, and so I thank her. And Andrew and Jennifer committed, just a wonderful, fun-loving couple. And then uh, Andrew's parents, Phil and Linda, committed, and they're the ones that make the, um, the gluten-free bread for communion, and I really appreciate that. Bob and Sherry Kununga, they're in Florida, but they are our uh, visitation ministers, and so we pray for them. And then Carolyn Kopowski always has a smile on her face. And they, her grandchildren, Amira, Ella, and William, pray for her. And also Chad and Megan uh, Krapinski and their little uh, baby boy, Leo. What a delight he is. We pray for them. And then Charles and Camille Kruger, who work so much in volunteering to clean the church and work with trustees and about anything we ask them to do. Just a delightful couple. Lou and Ellen and Destiny Keys, we pray for them. Tom Labadee, who does all the volunteering in the office, um, just a wonderful man. Uh, Mike and Shelly uh, Lashowitz, pray for them. Chris and Jan uh, Leduski, and Jan, as you know, is our treasure sale um, cheerleader and, and leader, and so we, we thank you for her. Roy and Jane Langford, as you know, uh, jo Jane runs the, uh, the clothesline ministry to give the clothes that, that you purchase to all these children in school. So. We're praying for you, Jane, and all that you do uh, for our church and community. And next is uh, Evan Lash and Barb Jackson. And I know Pastor Evan is still doing ministry in a lot of different ways. Just a great guy. And um, so we're praying for them. Jim and, and Tina Leonard, she just had surgery a couple months ago and is recovering fine. Miss Bernita Levator, we pray for her. She was in a hospital um, for a long time and um, also in the nursing home. She's finally home now, so we're praying she gets better. Laura Lenski and Brendan Gould. I love Brendan. What a happy young man um, he is. Tim and Jeannie Lucic. And Tim plays in the handball choir, so we, we thank, thank him for that. And Rip and Shelly Ludlow. Ludlow. Rip is our trustee chair and just has done so much around the church here, so we thank him for that. Shelly works with um, teenagers in the high school. It's a big part of our community. Paul and Tony Lux, they both sing in the choir, and so we thank them for what they do. David and Alice McCartney, we pray for them. Uh, they lead a Bible study on Tuesday nights. Uh, Joanne uh, Mathis is one of the ushers at the second service. Um, Jim and Kitty Maurer um, and their, their, their dogs, uh, Gertie and Zoli, um, they um, are running the new ministry of calling people every week. So keep them in your prayers. Uh, Jerry and Jan Mays, I think they're probably uh, down south, and we look for them to go home. Carol McCombs and her two little dogs. Um, Tom and Sue McPherson, uh, just a wonderful couple. He's one of my canoeing buddies, um, but they help with the treasure sale and part of the backbone of that team. Uh, John and Beverly McGee, please pray for John. He has some health uh, concerns, and um, Beverly, we thank her for singing in the choir. Uh, Ted and Jill Melnick, um, what a beautiful couple that helped with so many different ways and areas. He's a trustee, and so just a delightful couple. Pray for them. Dwayne and Bonnie uh, Miller. Dwayne is on the SBRC, and Bonnie is on the finance committee, so just helping the church out. Uh, Phil and Pam. Uh, Pam loves mission trips. She's been to Guatemala and to Tapachula, Mexico. And so Phil has a great heart for the Lord and loves music, too, and so pray for them. Shirley Morris, just one of the sweetest hugging ladies I think I've met, and just a kind heart. And then uh, Thor and Megan, Nearn, and little Addison. As you know, she is our um, minister of children. And so, and then um, Thor is the one that does this uh, woodworking uh, stuff for our church. It's beautiful and made the um, candles for Advent. John and Shirley Orzek. Um, John had some medical stuff, so I keep him in my prayers. Uh, recently, Ben and Karen, Odious, and as they're uh, raising Colin, who's just a bright young man, and just pray for them, and also Karen's health as well. Dale and Kathy Peterson, keep them in our prayer. They're some of our snowbirds. Uh, Bonnie Quigley, 
I don't know if I've ever met a more happy, cheerful lady. She has the joy of the Lord in her um, life. Just look at that smile. But um, just keep her in her prayers for all the ways she touched people. She's probably having the most difficult time being a people person, having to be stay at home. Miss Becky Reed and her little dog named Sister, please keep her in your prayers. She's at a retirement community at Brentwood. Um, this is Mike and Autumn Reese. As you know, Autumn is our um, office administrator, secretary, and then there are three boys, um, Bryce, Chase, and Alex. And uh, Chase just started college, and um, Alex helps with the recording around here. Just a wonderful family. Uh, Dick and Mary Beth Real, as many of you know in our community, um, Dick is the champion and leader of the Pioneer Land for our community. What a great organization. So we pray for them. And then on this back view here, we've got Kelly and Tony Rivera. We pray for them. And also uh, V Reynolds and Olivia. Uh, v helps with our funeral dinner uh, ministry. And then Greg and Sharon Rudnick and Hattie. And Sharon uh, works as a custodian here at the church and just keeps the, the church beautiful, clean. Nina uh, Sailors, she's the one that works with the Blue Group uh, um, Protecting Children. Uh, Ron and Suzanne Schaefer. Ron is one of our ushers at the first service. Um, Duane and Beth Seifert, keep them in our prayers. Bob and Lori Senso, that's another couple that helps with the treasure sale uh, ministry. And then Jean Strout, keep her in our prayers. And then we have Mary Lou Semmerlein, Dr. Mitzi Semmerlein, and Dr. Scott Semmeline, and they help so much with the worship committee and just a blessing and as ushers and just a delightful family um, of our church. Lloyd and Diana Singleton, please pray for Lloyd. I think he's having a test today that I was praying for this morning. Um, Diane is on our finance committee and just a wonderful couple of our church. Uh, Doug and Linda Sluter family, there's a big family. They actually live uh, close to Chicago, but during the summertime, they're here with us. I wish they were with us all year long. Just such a wonderful, um, dynamic family and spirit-led family, and so we pray for them. Uh, Ruth Sochi, we pray for her, and then Pat Spong, we pray for her as well. Go here. This is our youth minister, Jeffrey Elizabeth Starkey. And Avery Grace is about, I think, two and a half years old. And then Emerson Faith is just newborn, I think maybe just a week old or two weeks old. So please keep that young family in a prayer. Uh, Peter and Mary Kay Steele, you all know them. They are the worship leaders um, and just one of the most dynamic couples I think I've ever met musically and spirit-filled. And so just a blessing to our church in a thousand different ways. So please keep in your prayers. Miss Bob Stefano, Barb Stefano, please keep her um, in your prayer. She lost her husband a couple years ago, but just a sweet, sweet lady. And then uh, Jane Stefani, and I decided to put Bill Wampler beside her. And uh, I know that they're not alphabetically, but just a delightful individual people who like each other and just pray for them. They're, they're wonderful. Then we have Dwight Graham and Shelly Stevens. I think they're snowbirds right now in Texas, so we miss them. Uh, John and Linda Straub. John is making some crosses for us for a future communion or, or Mother's Day, Father's Day thing. They're beautiful. Um, Perry and Mamie uh, Stump, please keep them in your prayer. Just so faithful to our church. Uh, Tamara Stump, uh, their daughter, she plays in the um, handbell choir as long with, along with uh, Mamie does as well. Uh, Fred and Diane uh, Smyrna, uh, keep them in your prayers. Uh, Joel. And Sherry Swan and family, Joel is on the Staff Parish Relations Committee, uh, part of the second service, probably one of the founders of this service. Uh, Glenn and Sharon Swanson, um, he, uh, you may not know this, but he's a basketball coach, Indiana high school basketball coach for many, many years, uh, retired now, and they're snowbirds. We're looking forward to them coming back too. Uh, Jim and Kathy Sweet, Jim is one of our ushers and uh, one of the best mechanics in town, works at Harmon. Uh, Susan Taylor. Uh, Susan runs our uh, media ministry downstairs and just a great blessing to our church. So we pray for her. Uh, Myron and Joanne Thornburg. Uh, Miss Joanne was an English teacher, from what I understand, that many of you may have had in the community. Uh, Myron is a World War II veteran and uh, just a great, great couple. I love visiting with them. Uh, Dick Ulam, another World War II uh, fella in his 90s, uh, just a great man. Um, I decided to put my parents here, so this is my mom and dad, Bill and Debbie Vale, and of course this is myself, Bob and Nancy Vale, and I decided to put my whole family actually in there, so, so they're watching me on Sunday mornings too. 
And then over here we have Larry and Susan Wade. Please pray for Larry um, through some of his cancer issues and also Suzanne as well. And so pray for them. Miss Virginia Waldo, we pray for her. She loves going on mission trips and helps with the funeral dinners and just a delightful lady. Miss Judith uh, Wontuck, she's in Florida, so keep her. Miss Ann um, Wagner, um, she's at the Oakwood Retirement, and so please keep her in your prayers. Don and Claudia Weiler, she had worked so many, three years doing just amazing stuff with our um, trustees, and then Don was an usher for years, and so please keep them in your prayers. Jim Weiss, as you know, is our custodian, so please keep him, uh, not our custodian, he's our maintenance man, so keep him in your prayers. And then one of my favorite ladies in the whole world, um, Miss Mary Wells, and just so, so, so sweet, so kind, but also so very wise, and so miss her. Uh, Tim and Sharon Walty, um, just I can't say enough about this couple. Uh, Tim is one of our ushers and also on the finance committee in SPRC, probably just the backbone of this church, and just uh, love them dearly, pray for them. Bruce and Della uh, Winkerin, uh, Bruce is, uh, sings in the choir, and Della helps out with the ushering here at the church. John and Betty Woods, just an amazing couple. I think they've been married for 70 years plus, and so uh, just love them and their, their heart. They're so kind. Uh, Nada Whirl, please keep her in your prayers as well. And this is uh, Eric and Jan Janssen family. Um, they just lost uh, both her parents, um, the Philbrooks, uh, Rose and Sid. So please keep them in your prayers. Uh, Larry and Susan Yazel. Uh, Susan just worked so hard with our UMW and other areas with our, our, write, our reading library. And just such a blessing. And I understand uh, Larry is a farmer in our community. Uh, Sandy Young, she um, sings um, in the praise team and just is a de delightful and a writer too. She's writing books and poems and that type of thing. So just a blessing to our church. And then Brenda and Bruce Zistro. So, and then Morgan Milo and Susan. So that's all we have so far. So if you didn't see yourself on there, that means you probably weren't in the directory. And we want, we've got like six more or seven more rows to put your picture on there. So send it in. Email it to me, B-O-B-V-A-L-E-1961 and at gmail.com. And we'll put that on there. So on Sunday morning, you are here in spirit, even though you're at home. And uh, I have a song that I want to sing um, in the middle of everything. And um, I want to sing it to a particular person, actually. And when I sit down here, you'll see who I'm going to sing it to. And I'm singing this song. It's kind of a praise song. Um, and I'm singing to Miss Bernina Libertor. Um, many of you may not know this, but um, 20 years ago, she helped start the praise team and the uh, powertrain worship service that we have going is still strong. And so uh, this is a, a song that I want to sing uh, to her and thank her for realizing that people need the Lord. And as I'm surrounded by all these pictures of people, I think this is an appropriate song. And the, the chorus goes like this. It goes, People need the Lord. People need the Lord. At the end of broken dreams, He's the open door. People need the Lord. People need
touches you today as you're um, at home uh, during this coronavirus. And so let's just pray together. Lord, we just pray that you would be with us in spirit and in truth. And even though we're not together, we're together. Never before has the church been so separated, but so close. And so keep us close. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Now I want you to watch this. Is it still going? I want you to watch this on Facebook for the church Facebook page and type in uh, Laporte um, First United Methodist Church or YouTube on FUMC.org. Uh, Share this with other folks uh, to encourage them. Um, and please send a picture of you or a family member. We'll put them up in here too. God bless you. Have a great day. Love you all.